Hey guys, welcome back. Queen Bee here. And today I'm making the gloss. So, my materials that I'm using is my karaoke machine box. Um, this box, this craft dinner box. This, um, Superman, the Eliminate Bouncing Fun, Superman Hopper set or whatever. And then I got a bunch of things over here that I'll be using, so, um, yeah, so I kind of took off this, opened up it here, and on the bottom, and I started cutting one of the walls so that it can be an opening one, so I have, so, since no one's really ever done a doll making a homemade dollhouse on YouTube, um, I thought, might as well do it, first person to do it. I've seen people do Monster High Bed and stuff, but oh, that hurt. Yeah. Um, so then just fold up the bottom again. And then I just fold up and up like this. And then make it however you want. Um, I'm going to get, when I get another one of these, I'll put it here and then it'll be a bunk bed. Yeah, and then this, you can just easily open this up and cut this up and use that as part of the floor to put it on you. Um, so really there's no more, there's not no really no really um glue needed. I mean you can use glue if you want but yeah you gonna you don't have to need you don't have to use really big scissors like I'm using. Um okay I was supposed to be for school, but I lost them, so then I had to get a new pair, and the person who brought me my new pair bought me two pairs, um, so I got to choose, and I took them both to school, so two pairs of school, and now you guys are leaning up against my binder, so, yeah. This should work out. Um, I'm just going to put this. Put this over because I don't want the Superman part showing. That just doesn't match. I know it's the theme at all. So. And then you just tuck it underneath. So. Just like that. And then you've got a full floor. Which is really good. Um. And just slide that in there. There! There's your bunk bed. Um, and then I've got this sheet of paper. Um, and I'll use it for this part. When I get glue, I'm going to use it. So, but for now, I'm just going to fold it. Step. make the pillow. Um, most people when they make doll beds they, for the pillows they grab some fabric and they sew it. To me I just fold up paper or something. So, yeah. So here's a long pillow. Sorry about the background noise, guys. It's my um, TV. I'm watching my little pony. So, I'm going to get one of my dolls. Um, so, I'll show you what it's going to look like. I mean, it sticks up now, but it, when it, there's a doll playing on it, it will be um, sticking it down. So, I got it off. Dolls, I'm going to put her on the bed. Just place the pillows how you, you want them. Uh, since all I have is the bottom bunk right now, she gets the bottom. And then this comes in. And the blanket. There. So, 
I'm going to decorate this when I get some stuff. So, yeah. Okay. Now, um, I'll just let it hang off. Actually, it gives it a nice little touch with it hanging off. And I'm going to give her mm, out of this sticky note. So all this is out of my binder. There's a sticky note that doesn't say anything. Don't know why I have it. Just gonna fold it up. And I'm going to use it as her cuddle pillow. Because I bet at least some of you guys have cuddle pillows. So there is her cuddle pillow. She's got two. I don't have a cuddle pillow, I just have a special pillow. Okay. So. That's pretty good. And for the underneath part, um, I thought maybe if you're doing from, like, a little kid, so from the beginning of the story to the ending of the twins, then for when there's a baby, put some toys, in, put some toys and stuff in their hand. And then when they get older, like this, you can put, like, a chair under here, um, and some electronics and stuff. If you can see, I haven't put in the door yet, but that's because I'm showing you guys what I'm doing first. So I'm just going to gently move out, the, move out the, move the bed, and then we're going to trace the door out from the inside. So we're going to have the door right here. So it's going to be a pretty big door. So we're going to measure the doll. So we know how it looks. It's going to be a double door, so, there, it's pretty cracked up over here, big deal, look at that, and this, and we're going to put the doorbell on the other side. First, we're going to have to cut this out, so what we do is we're going to have to make before. I don't normally do them. So, yeah. It'll be at the, it'll be at the um, end of the video. I just gotta <clears throat> do the door, so 
I'm going to do this so that I kind of flip it. I kind of flip the whole dog out. There we go. So we got one being able to open and close. Now I'm just going to make the door handle. Check. And my doll fit her hand through there to open. It's going to be a push door, so all she needs to do is push, okay. So, I've got one door, and I'm going to make sure that she can fit through this push door. Okay, so we can't fit through the one, so let's get on making to the other, making the other one. Not the best door. Only a child, so don't push. So, one. So, it's going to be on the whole foot. There we go. So, now let's just put this back the way it was. Okay, just there. Just grab the bed that I need. Put it in there again. You can also add on to it with more if you want. So, we go just simply pushes the doors and walks right through. Okay, it's that simple. Um, and also we got to have, I don't know. Oh, sort of. No, we have to have the doorbell. So when my dad knocking on the door and the doors don't answer, they go. Bingo. And then the dolls answer the do one of the dolls or both of them answer the door. And they say, come on in. If it's someone they know. If it's just a stupid sales for people. Person, because I mean, I'm not saying that they always go to door to door, door, door selling things, but in some countries, they go door to door selling things. So it's fine that I know. I can't find her other cuddle bell. We'll find out later. So, okay, there's, yeah, so this is part of it so far. I hope you guys like it. Um, I'm not fully done with it. So I'm going to be, I got this stuff here that I'm going to do some pictures and stuff with. I'm going to make a TV out of, um, I think I'm going to make a TV out of this one here because it's the longest. So it's going to be a nice big flat screen TV. So I'm just going to grab this, grab these so I can trace these. Go. I got that made. So it's just cut now, cutting the TV. Flat screen TV.
underground tunnels. The, the, the bunnies and stuff made, so I'm gonna put a nest here. And then we're gonna put a bunny's nest here. I think this should be good. And then we'll put some little wormholes. Connected to these, but they're going to be smaller holes. And there are some entrance. One less worms. There. That should be a good thing. And then I'll draw some little birdies. So the TV, I'm going to put one, um, the bedroom here. So this is the door to the garage. I know, a lot of doors. But it's going to be a mansion. And this is here. The door to the garage is, to, is, is in the bedroom. Because they used to live with their parents, and now they live alone, the twins live alone. So, the bed is facing this way. The bunk bed is going to be facing this way. Um, um, and the TV is going to be up on the wall here. So that they can watch. But for now, I'm just going to put it on, down because I can't. Now I'm going to make a book. Books, please comment down below. It's not real lighting. It's just not little squiggles. I'll show you guys later. So, the magazines. We got two, one for each girl. <coughs> now I'm just gonna get my girl to go to sleep. And yeah, I'll see you guys next um, time. And now it's shout out time. So, my first shout out goes to. Um, Buck Team, no space, it's just Buck Team, uh, his real name is Buck Team, that's his name, it's Buck Team, and then also, 
before I end this video, um, I'm going to be keeping this because he's going to be at the top of my shout outs all the time. And also, I'd like to do a shout out to Glitter Forever. Um, um, RCL Beauty, Chloe Couture. Um, so, um, yeah, and if you guys are all watching this, please subscribe, comment. And, yeah, bye, Kitty. Oh, also, one more person Emma from Kitty's Mama. Emma, Jonah, and Noah, if you guys are watching this. Everyone who I just mentioned, even Buck Team, uh, if you are all watching this, uh, I give you all shout outs. Um, those are my shout outs for today. But as I told you, Buck Team's always going to be the first. Um, so, yeah, I hope you guys are all watching this. And thank you, thank you so much. Bye, YouTube.